guys, welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to say thank you so much for all of the birthday wishes that you guys sent to me last week. I'm finally back from Orlando. I had a great time Halloween Horror Nights, and I just wanted to film a quick swatch video for you guys today. This is going to be on 10 of my favorite shades from the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick Collection. She does have 28 shades, but I thought I would pick 10 and show you guys which are my favorites and which ones I wear the most. So if you want to see all of these shades, please keep watching. Okay guys, so the first Everlasting Liquid Lipstick is called Bow and Arrow, and this is described as a fawn nude. I would consider this a very taupey beige nude. I think it looks really great with any makeup look, and this is a really nice everyday nude for a lot of different skin tones. I think this is a very beautiful color, and I think it's definitely a must-have and one of my favorites. This is Bow and Arrow. This next shade is called Mother, and this is my personal favorite. This is a dusty mauve pink. It really reminds me a lot of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dusty Rose, and also Stila Patina. This is a really beautiful color if you are into the whole pinky Kylie Jenner lip. This really does look a lot like the Soar Lip Pencil from MAC as well. I love this color, and this is a great everyday shade. This is Mother. This next shade is called Backstage Bambi, and this is also one of my personal favorites. This is a super hot pink. It reminds me a lot of Candy Yum Yum by MAC. If you have that lipstick, you know how bright and fun it is. It's very spring, but I would definitely wear this color all year round anyways. It's super fun and very Barbie-ish. This would look great if you had a very subtle eye and you just use this lip to make your whole look pop. This is Backstage Bambi. This next shade is called Bachelorette and I'm very obsessed with this shade. It is like a mixture between a red and a pink. It is described as a deep red pink and I think this is super suitable if you are one of those people that don't really want to wear a red lip but you want a bold lip that has a little bit of red tones in it and also pink. This is your perfect match. I love this color and I do actually wear this color a lot. So this is Bachelorette. Okay, so this next Everlasting Liquid Lipstick is called Aisha, and I was super drawn to this color because I have never seen a lipstick that is a cool lavender. I've seen a lot of warmer purples, more brighter, but this is very muted and very pastel-like, which I thought was super unique, and that is why I had to have it. I do love this color. I think it would look so beautiful on any skin tone, especially blondes and also brunettes. So this is a very wearable purple. I would definitely think that people would be more comfortable wearing a more muted purple than a super hot purple. This next shade is called Baja 5, and this is one of the first liquid lipsticks by Kat Von D I have ever purchased. This color is a deep raspberry, that is what it is described as, and I definitely think it is super true to the color. It is very berry, it's very fall. It's definitely deep if you layer it with another coat on top, and this is also one of my all-time favorite Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks. This is Baja 5. This next shade is Underage Red, and this is one of my favorite reds of all time. This is a bright crimson red. It is a very true red, and it has a little bit of orange undertones in it, which I really like, and they complement my skin tone a lot, so this happens to be something that I always reach for when I'm wanting to do a red lip. This also is one that I've had for a super long time. It was one of my first liquid lipsticks that I purchased, and I have loved it ever since. So this is Underage Red. Okay, so this next Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick is called Vampira, and I have had this one for a very long time. It came along with all the other ones that I had first ordered when trying out all these lipsticks, and I have loved it ever since. This is a very fall color. It has deep burgundy tones in it, and it's very cool, so I think this is so perfect for this season right now, and I have been wearing this a lot. So this is Vampira.
This next shade is called Echo and this is a satin navy blue, that is what it is described as. And I think this is such a unique and awesome color. I mean, how many times do you come across a navy blue lipstick? This one is awesome because it is liquid. I know that MAC makes a lipstick called Royal that is navy blue, but I would prefer this one because it is more matte. This is gonna stay on all night long and it's super unique. So this one is called Echo. As you can tell, my lips are a little stained from the other colors, so I'm gonna go ahead and mute them out. I'm gonna be using my Makeup Forever Pro Finish Powder, and this is in the shade 125. It matches my skin, and it's really gonna mute out all those other pigments, so I can apply another color, and you can get the true color. And I'm going to be using my Sigma F64 to apply the powder to my lips. So the last and final everlasting liquid lipstick shade that I decided to pick was Witches, and this is described as a pitch black. To me, this has a lot of teal undertones in it. It almost has a bluish tint when you look at it. It's a little patchy, so you're gonna have to layer this with another coat on top, but I do think it is a very beautiful black. I think this is a must have for someone to have in their liquid lipstick collection because you can mix this with reds and make a deeper red. You can mix this with other colors to create a darker pigment. So I think this is an awesome color to have and I think it is also super unique. So this is called Witches. All right guys, that is it for this everlasting liquid lipstick tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed all the swatches. I had so much fun swatching them for you and thank you so much for watching. All right guys, that is it for these everlasting liquid lipstick swatches. I went ahead and put on my favorite and this is Mother. This is like a dusty rose pink. And if you guys are wondering, my eye makeup today is from the Kat Von D Monarch palette and it reminds me a lot of like a monarch butterfly, which I think is really cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed the Everlasting Lipstick Swatches, and if you have any other ideas for my next tutorial, please comment below. Thank you so much for watching.